Hey guys, welcome back to Dial Up Chronicles. So last time we just finally started getting Dial Up Internet working on an older computer running Windows 95 through True Dial Up Internet with a home analog home telephone, not a uh, you know not fake Dial Up. This is like real true authentic Dial Up, as if you were back in the day. So we got a few new things I wanted to play with. The only issues we were having last time was everything was working, but it was just going kind of slow. And I noticed that this came up using the Juno speed band. So it must have just came up because now we have the accelerated, so we should have the speed band. <laughs> Cannot find the program. Make sure the path is made. This. Please select your version of Juno in order to start the Juno speed band. So, I don't know what the Juno I have. Let me, look, let me grab the CD real quick, y'all. Yeah, this is the last CD. Oh, so this is version 3. So, I don't think the speed band can work. <clears throat> Because I need, I need version, I need one of these versions. So maybe we can download it. Make sure I don't have, hey guys. Check this out. Juno version 4. Let's put it in. So let's do it. Welcome to Juno 4.0. So, let's, uh, we're going to install. Okay, so this might become an installing Juno 4.0 video. All right, Juno installation. Welcome to Juno setup. This program will install Juno. Blah, 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 here we go. Hit next, hit next. I can't believe I had this, y'all. This is randomly in there. <laughs> okay, install a shortcut for G to Juno on the desktop. That was fast. Oh, should we, let's do it. Let's install. Uh... Oh, already have the latest version. So let's do this. Let's see if I double click on this now. Uh, okay, so maybe I already had that installed. I didn't realize it. Okay. So we have Juno 4, or we should, right? Click here. Click play to continue. Where's play? Play. What is going on? Well, how do I click play? Okay. Oh. Uh, I don't think anything's happening. You have to be online. Okay, Juno Speed Band. For each time you connect to the internet with Juno dial up software in your Juno Speed Band account. To connect to the internet with Juno, double click the Juno icon bar. Just time and go through the normal login procedure. Right. Once Juno connects to the internet, Juno Speed Band approval will appear. Your icon will also appear in your system tray. I've never seen this before, y'all. This is very interesting to me. Okay. All right. All right. Let's keep going.
look at this. Okay. Speed image. Adjusting your speed will impact image quality as the examples demonstrate. Click OK to save your setting. Speed man. Juno Speed Man also includes a pop-up blocker that prevents most pop-up ads from automatically opening when you browse a website to configure it. Okay. Pop-up filter allow pop-up from some website.com. Uh, pop-ups on these sites. interesting. Okay. If you need help with Gino Speed Band anytime, click the Speed Band name on the toolbar and select help. You can bring up this user guide again or access the help center on the web. Okay. You have not yet signed up for Gino Speed Band. Juno, uh oh. To upgrade to Juno's speed band, please visit juno.com slash speed Okay, well, let's see what we can do here. We'll bring that down, because maybe, so let's double click on Juno. Maybe I did already have Juno 4. I don't know. Okay. Let's dial in. Let's see if it works. Okay. What do you mean there's not enough room? I don't get it. Uh oh. Looks like we're. F what is. Okay, dialing. Let me expand. Let me make this bigger. Oh, well, that doesn't do anything. Okay, let's check. Let's see if it's dialing. Let's listen in. Uh oh. Okay, guys. I am connected, and here is the speed band. It's come up. So we have it now. There it is. In all its glory, look at that beautiful thing right there. The speed band is working. Here comes Netscape. It's automatically coming up. Oh my goodness. Oh man, this is exciting. Contacting my.juno.com. All right, we know Juno.com. Oh, well look, this came up. Cool, whatever. All right, let's see if, if we can see the speed band working. So let's, um, all right, let's see if it works any faster than our last video. There, the end is moving. That's my favorite part of this. Oh, look at that, booyah. That was much faster than before. So already I'm noticing a difference. You can see, look, here it is down here. The speed band is on. Guys, I'm just so terribly sorry about that line. I can't wait till I can get that taken care of. Still looks like it's going the same bytes and everything, but I think it doesn't matter. Let's see. Okay. Looking up a website. Dream, Dreamart.us. I don't see the speed band moving though. See, it's up, but it's not. See, this should be doing stuff. But this site's coming up. Okay, it's still going kind of slow. 
But it's one step at a time, you'll you have success, I guess. I think it's something with the computer. Let's see while that's coming up. Oh, I can move it. That's cool. Put it right there, I guess. You can also get it out of the way to where we don't see it. Pop-ups are blocked. Change. Mm, you get faster page loads or higher quality. That's interesting. Yeah, but this is going... It's going a bit slower than it should. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the internet settings. Maybe that'll... I'm going to have to look it up. I will get back to you guys.